What is going on everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Web Development episode 15. In this episode, we are going to learn how to put images on our page as well as change the background image of our page. And there's some cool tricks that you can do with images as well. So I just have a base HTML template up here, and we will be using CSS, so I just have the style tags up here. First, we are just going to learn how to display a regular image to the page. Now in order to do that, you're going to need an image. Now you can have this image right on your computer, so here is my tutorial.html file that I'm editing, and right there with it is an image called image.png, and this is what it looks like, it's a really bad smiley face, but anyways, this is the image that I'm going to display to my page. So make sure that your image is in the same folder as your HTML document, or if you'd want, you can create a new folder in this folder and just remember to add that folder name and then a slash before you access the image. But to make it easy, just make sure all of your images are right there with your HTML file. So we're going to begin with just getting that image onto the screen. And it's really simple, we're just going to use the image tag, IMG. Now the image tag requires the source attribute, and this is going to be the path to your image or the image name. Now I have an image right on my computer, it's called image, oops, image.png. If yours is named something different, not image.png, then of course put the name. And if you're not using an image that's on your computer, but rather an image that's on the web that has a URL to it, you should just insert the entire URL here, and that should still work. So there is the source. That's the name of the image or the location of the image on your computer or on the web. Next, another required attribute is the alt tag. This is used for accessibility reasons. Basically, in case your image doesn't load, then this is just going to be a short description of your image. Again, it's only for accessibility reasons. In my case, I'll put smiley face there, and then we can close the image tag. And the image tag has no closing tag as well. Now if we go ahead and reload our web page, you'll see that we get that image displayed on the screen there. That's it, that's as simple as it is to add an image. Now there's a few more things we can do. We can set the width and height of this image if we'd like. So if I wanted to change the width of this image, we can set the width attribute to something like, I don't know, 100. And we can set the height to the same thing, I'll put it at 100. And if we save that and reload the page, my image is now 100 pixels by 100 pixels, wide and tall. If you don't know what a pixel is, a pixel is essentially a little dot on your computer screen that lights up. So by setting the width and height both to 100, the width is going to take up 100 of those little dots to display the image in the width wise and height wise. Anyways, you can also do this by CSS. So I'm going to remove those attributes and we'll do it by CSS. So just for the heck of it, I'll give this image an ID and I'll just name it, um, I don't know, IMG ID. And up here in my style, I will access that image ID and we can add some things to change around the image. Now you can do all sorts of cool things, but the basics, we'll just learn how to set the width and height here. It's as simple as 100 pixels, setting the width attribute and the height attribute if we want as well. But it's important that when you're using CSS, you add PX. That stands for pixels, like so, so we don't get any change. It's the same thing, 100 by 100 pixels. But in CSS, we can do something cool. Instead of pixels, we could do percentages if we wanted. So 50%, and I'll just set it as the height as well. And this should, if we run this, make the image 50% wide on the page. In this case, I don't believe the height actually changes anything, so if we reload this, we get the same thing. But the width of the image, and therefore the height, is exactly 50% of the width of the web browser. So you don't have to use pixels when you're using CSS to set the width and height of an image. All right, that's cool, we got images ready. Now let's talk about background images. So I'm gonna delete that code, and I'm gonna directly access the body tag in our CSS. Remember, a CSS tag right here without a dot or without a hash symbol in front of it is just accessing a tag itself. So all the code we put in here is just gonna change the entire body of the web page. So let's say we want a background image onto our web page. Well, all we need to do is set the background image property to and because we are using an external image, whether it's on the web or on the computer like I have, you're going to need something special. You're going to need URL and then parentheses. And then inside quotes, this is where you're going to put that same path that we used for the regular image. I'm going to use the same image as the background image, so image.png. If you are using one on the web, again, just put the entire URL there. So that's something that you have to remember when using CSS to put a background image. Anyways, if we save that and reload our page here, You'll notice that we get tons and tons of smiley faces just tiled across the page. But what if you don't want it to repeat all across the page? Well, in that case, we can set another property called the background 
repeat property. Currently, I believe it's just default set to repeat. But let's say we only wanted it to repeat in the x direction or only horizontally. We'll set that to repeat x. And if we reload the page here, our image tiles or repeats only in the horizontal direction now. And we can do the same thing vertically by using y. Or if we don't want any repeat at all, we can just set it to no repeat. Now, if we reload our page, we just get that one single image there. But what if I wanted this one image to just not repeat itself, but instead just fill up the entire page? For that, we can use another CSS selector called the background, whoops, background size. So if we want it to just be the whole size of the page, we should just be able to put 100% there. And if we run this, now our smiley face is 100% of the size of the page. It's so big that it even gets cut off. Anyways, that is the basics of images. So now we can add a bit more artistic detail to our pages. If you're an awesome artist, then boom, you can put some of your art on your very own web page. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.